Daily Devotional, April 30. This is a day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Father God, I magnify your name for obedience. Open up my spirit to listen attentively to the voice and leading of the Holy Spirit to help me in being obedient, for obedience is life and disobedience is death. The Bible tells us that we should meditate on God's word. To meditate is to ruminate, to chew over, like a cow chews its cud. The picture may not be very attractive to the squeamish, but this action aids in the digestive process of the animal. So God advises us to chew his word over and over. Bring it back up and chew over it until it dwells richly in us. God told Joshua that he should always keep the book of the law on his lips, to meditate on it day and night, to be careful to do everything it says so he could have good success. But apart from God's word, it is a good practice to meditate on certain things that make up life's core issues. The Bible tells us that Mary, the mother of Jesus, pondered certain things in her heart. This can only mean that she meditated upon them, wondered at their meaning and significance and how they would affect her life and the life of those around her. What is there in our lives apart from God's word that we need to meditate on, to mull over and to submit to the Holy Spirit, then to hold within us and see how the matter turns out? Do we meditate upon our words and their impact upon others? At the end of each day, do we look back over it and see if there was anything we could have done differently? And if we do, are our meditations matched by scriptures we may have read which support our reflections? Let us go back to meditating on God's word for a moment. This will always be paramount in our Christian journeys because they are not mere words, but spirit. They are alive, sharper than any two-edged sword that penetrates even to the dividing of soul and spirit, joints and marrow. The Word of God judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. And, being God-breathed, it is useful to teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness. So a thorough meditation of our lives is first subject to a sound meditation of God's word. Lord Jesus, my heavenly Father, great High Priest, Redeemer, today I honor and magnify you, for you have given us your word, you have given us yourself. I bless you, I bless your name, Thank you.